Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and today in this video, I'm gonna show, how to disable unsupported NVMe drives on Mac OS. So before starting, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, then please go and subscribe to our channel and stay connected for the latest updates. So without a further ado, let's get started. Here the question arises, why disable any NVMe? There are a few reasons such as, with a few NVMe drives, some users may experience a kernel panic when booting the Mac OS installer, before reaching the installation stage. A few users may also want to disable their other OS drives, such as Windows or Linux drives which they do not want to be shown in Mac OS. And lastly, without any reason, few users just do not want a particular NVMe drive to be shown under Mac OS. Whatever the reason is, now let me show you how to disable any NVMe on Hackintosh. Now, let me show you that, with an unsupported NVMe installed on this PC, the installer will end up with a kernel panic. This is because the NVMe controller isn't compatible with Mac OS IO NVMe family text. And as you can see, the installer ended up with a kernel panic, also let me show you that. Booting to macOS will end up with a kernel panic. Booting to an installed macOS also ended up with a kernel panic. Now, let me show you, how to fix this issues. For fixing, boot to Windows. After booting to Windows, you'll require a few things to disable the unsupported NVMe. SSDT NVMe Disable, XIASL for editing SSDT, 
and open Core Auxiliary Tools for editing config plist. After getting the files downloaded, open Device Manager either using Windows Search or using this PC. Now expand Storage Controllers under the Device Manager route. Here, you'll need to find out the NVMe you want to disable. For that, select Standard NVM Express Controller, and then right-click and choose Properties. Under the Details tab, find the children name within the property drop-down and select it. Here under the Value section, you'll find a partial match of your NVMe make and model. So, this NVMe is SK Hynix PC711, which is an unsupported NVMe. To find out whether your NVMe is supported or not, please check the compatibility list provided for NVMe on our forum. Now you'll need to look for the ACPI path for the NVMe you want to disable. For that, under the Details tab, find the BIOS device name within the property drop-down and select it. In some cases, the path may be under Location Paths. Your NVMe SSD ACPI path will be displayed in the value box. After getting the ACPI path, close the Properties box, and Device Manager. Now open the downloaded SSDT using XIASL. Now you need to change the ACPI path in the SSDT to match yours. After changing the ACPI path, click on Save Icon, then click on Edit, click on Compile and look for errors in the compiler summary. If there's an error, fix it and again click on Compile. After getting zero error, close XIASL, and an .aml file will be generated. After getting the .aml file, place the SSDT under ACPI folder, a VFI's OC folder. After placing the SSDT, open your config plist, and then create the entry for the SSDT, under ACPI tab. After creating the entry, arrange it in the proper order as shown. Now, save the plist, and restart your PC. During restart, make sure to reset the NVRAM at least once. And now you can see, that after the unsupported NVMe is disabled, the macOS installer boots successfully. Also, let me boot to macOS. And as you can see, macOS is also booted successfully. So that was it, hope it was useful. Consider like for the video, and subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions, just comment down below.
or create a thread on our forum. Make sure to check out the forum for in-depth guides. Thanks for watching and have a great day ahead.